Planar Systems is an electronic display manufacturer. We've been a U.S.-based company for almost 40 years now. Today, our focus is almost entirely on LED. And as part of our parent company, Liard, we've been number one in the world now in global LED sales for several years running. And we've participated in most of the traditional LED markets, corporate, government, broadcast. But now we see this explosive application, this brand new opportunity called virtual production. Everything is growth right now. Everybody is learning how to use this technology, how to further the technology, and planar is becoming a huge part of that. It's definitely already being adopted on feature film sets and has been for like a decade. It just keeps improving and improving and improving. Since the beginning of film, filmmakers have been trying to find a way to bring the world into the studio, and that can go back all the way to uh, rear projection and front projection. I worked on Interstellar where we actually used uh, digital projectors projected on front projection screens to create our backgrounds so that the actors have something to relate to. Projector technology gave way to LED screens where we were using those on first man to put our astronauts uh, either into space or into uh, atmospheres flying around. To showcase what Orbital Studios and Planar can do together, we brought in two-time Academy Award-winning visual effects supervisor Ian Hunter, virtual production supervisor of DC's Black Adam, Catherine Brillhart, and three-time Emmy Award-winning concept designer, Neville Page. The types of things you include in your design are a factor now, and it's an enabling factor. It's not like, oh, we can't really do it because we're using this tech. It's more of a, of a positive thing virtual art department has played a huge role in this process. We're working with unreal, like real-time content. We've actually done some interesting tricks to work around the constraints that we had for latency and runtime for weather. So in this case, we actually built some miniatures of buildings and uh, then took those miniatures, scanned them, and projected them onto 3D models in the Unreal Engine world. The thing I want to do with Midnight Jaunt was not only to create the background, but then push through those backgrounds, do transitions. Our focus is to get as close to the people who know what they're doing as possible so that we can be as responsive as possible to enable the market. And it starts within our own company. So our sister company, Natural Point, uh, produces OptiTrack, which is the world's leading motion capture system. And most of these virtual production environments have a proper motion capture system. So it starts inside. We have a nice natural partnership with our sister company. In addition, the processing is super important. And so we partner with leading companies, including Brompton and Colorlight, to ensure that all of our LED products are compatible. They want to push the envelope of what the tech will do. We're really excited about the fine pixel pitch of the screens because it means that uh, we have more use of the stage. So we can actually get much closer to the screens. We can now move the camera around in our environment quite a bit more uh, without risk of that resolution breaking down. We're kind of pushing our small stage to the max with this screen. It's been an honor to have the opportunity to work with some of the brightest creative minds in the world. And ultimately what we're trying to do is unleash the creative vision of these geniuses. So one of the interesting things we found while working on First Man was not only was this a great way to create our background, because of all the pre-planning and work up front to create these environments, it actually turned out to be a cost-effective way to do the film. You know, there are really interesting solutions. For instance, this wall behind us is about 32 foot long and 10 foot high. So I certainly couldn't you know, do a techno crane move around a car. But if I move the world and the car, then it looks like I'm doing a techno crane move. And that's exactly what we we're able to do by tracking multiple objects at the same time. We have these creatives and we have these technologists, but somebody has to make it all happen. And it happens in the studio. And so working with people like, like AJ and working with Orbital to make it happen, like it's almost like, they're a translator for us and helping each other understand what each other can do, meaning the creatives and the technologists. We come to them with issues and they come to us with solutions. And that's the kind of partner you want.